And a lot of the brain was mapped out by essentially guns up until about uh, the Civil War that were actually, the bullets traveled slow enough that they were still contaminated with bacteria when they hit you and you got a b bad infection when it hit you and you died of the infection. And starting in the Civil War, guns got fast enough that ac the bullets actually were sterilized as they're flying through the air because they heated up enough. And when they rip through you, well, they can remove a bunch of tissue, but if it didn't kill you immediately, you could actually survive the, the post-infection. And so they started getting lots of patients that were surviving, and they could study them and started noticing that there were patterns of behavioral losses when people got shot in different parts of the brain. And so people like um, Broca uh, started and Wernicke started looking to see what kinds of uh, loss in function. So some people actually had start difficulty talking or understanding, and they started naming what are called aphasias, and then noticing that these aphasias occur when you have a stroke or bullet through a per particular part of the brain, and then you, you, and they mapped out a lot of that. And so a lot of brain function was known uh, for the last hundred years, which is now being confirmed by more direct methods of, uh, like fMRIs where you can actually see blood flow to that part of the brain start to increase when the person um, starts talking or thinking or, or things like that. So as I mentioned with the homunculus, so here along the sensory and motor areas, there's this nice mapping of different parts of the body. And you know this was well mapped out by um, the guys who, who were looking at seizures and uh, the progression of seizures across the body. Uh, likewise, you can actually, uh, some people that have visual migraines, so they have migraines, uh, and it's, you actually can see a constricting, the th one of the current hypotheses is there's actually a wave of blood, vascular constriction which is traveling across the brain. And you can actually map it out and see it move along your visual system and you get sort of a bright edge and then you get sort of a blind spot following it. And you can map it out and you can see the actual progression across the visual cortex that really relates to the anatomy um, directly from the percept.